beautiful. <laughs> very, very beautiful. It's like, uh, it's kind of like uh, looking out at the cities, kind of. Like, pretend like you're in Minneapolis right now. Oh, yeah. And over there, you know, you see that, that big hill up there? Yeah. That almost reminds me of what I, that's kind of like what Astoria, Oregon kind of looks like, kind of. Okay. Kind of. And the zoom kind of works pretty well, but it, it can only zoom so far. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. But, yeah, so we're here filming our documentary. I mean, the, the documentary just doesn't start when we go to Astoria. It started when we were on the freaking train. Yep. You know? So, we'll find some good things to... Well, I remember four years ago when I was here, and obviously I didn't have a camera then. I kind of walked this way a few times anyway when I, when I was here, and... Never got mugged at all. <sighs> so I don't think we'll have to worry about that today. No. I'd be surprised. I really would be. Or somebody say, hey, give me all your money. I don't have any money. <laughs> like, do you speak English? Uh, no. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll be all right. And last week they had their big Cinco de Mayo festival over here, which... It's like more, well, you see that over there? Yep. Rose Garden right there. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Rose Garden, that's where they shot Monday Night Raw here a while back. I think before, or the, or, well, The Rock was facing John Cena. Yeah. 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 That Rose Garden, and I think, uh, I'm trying to figure out which episode it was. Because I know they did the whole rap concert, rock concert, but I don't think that was in Portland here. But it was one of the episodes of Monday Night Raw that was filmed just recently. It was like after the whole Daytona 500 thing when John Cena was supposed to start the, or announce the race or whatever, or yeah. say, gentlemen, start your engines, but because of rain, that he couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. Until they delayed it to Monday, and it was like too late. So yeah. they had to fly all the way from Daytona, Florida to Portland, Oregon over here just to go in that arena yep. <laughs> for Monday Night Raw. So... Yeah, so that's 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 what it is. The roof, anyway, it almost looks like the Alara Center kind yeah, of Grand Forks. So, what do you think about this vacation so far? I mean, obviously that you haven't seen the gist of it yet, but <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty exciting, though. I'd say. Yeah, it is. So far, so good. I mean, it's everything that we we planned it to be, and yeah. you know, a lot of planning, a lot of a lot of talking, a lot of everything. Just for a week of this, we're almost like downtown Portland here, but uh, just gotta watch out for traffic. You can still get ran over in Portland. <laughs> they haven't, they don't have flying cars yet over here. <laughs> Although I would be surprised when they, when that time comes. So, all right. But yeah, it's pretty nice around here. This is kind of the area that I walked around a lot when I was here. Oh, okay, then. thank you. When I when I was here four years ago, kind of the parts where there isn't so many people and we don't have to worry about so much stuff. And there was people here because fishing the fishing opener just started not too long, a few days ago. So I think as of Saturday. So. Don't be surprised if you see people fishing by this dock over here, because <laughs> you will, you will see that I'm sure. Yeah, I will. Don't get ran over by the FedEx guy either. <laughs> I had to film him just so we know who it would be that ran us over. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you ran over my camera, then then I'd be screwed, I guess. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh well. But uh, yeah, I, I never thought we'd ever be here again. Or I never thought I'd ever be here. I never thought Mike would ever be here, but we are here. Yeah, we are. And <laughs> it's only going to get bigger and better. i tell you that much. Well, here's a side view of it anyway. Right there. I told you we were close. Yep. Definitely close. That's kind of, the, kind of the side view anyway of what it looks like. Rose Garden here in Portland. But uh, look how nice this little river looks. Very nice, very nice.
lake looks pretty calm. Yeah, and there is somebody fishing. This guy right here. Yep. If you're alive, give us a finger. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us you're number one. <laughs> so, yeah, very, very interesting, of course. And so, if we see anything else cool, if we go on the bridge maybe later or whatever, yes, that bridge way up there <laughs> where the train is. <laughs> We'll definitely just have to show you guys, but tell them we'll see what happens. Okay. Hope <laughs> we'll be right back. Well, here we are. There, the Mike, Portland, Oregon. Big old lake, big old river. People running. <laughs> hey. People run with babies, people run with their dogs. People just like to run. Where, where are they going? <laughs> I don't know. Beats where, where are they running to? <laughs> I mean, should we be concerned? <laughs> uh, should we start running to, to participate? Yeah, we could take off like front Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, Mike and I are just taking this all in because, you know, he's never been here before and I'm just kind of giving him the tour of kind of the area where I, you know, found anyway from the last time I was here and uh, kind of made it my little adventure to kind of, I don't know, just occupy time, kill time this way, you know? Yeah. And we got lots of time to kill. We got about eight hours to kill, you know? So, I don't like killing anything, but, <laughs> let alone time, but yeah. whatever, you know? I should just use the excuse that Mike Road uses on the on uh, dirty jobs. What can I do to slow the process down? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yes, it's uh, very nice around here. It's kind of almost <laughs> swallowed a bug. <laughs> <laughs> that was a live reaction there, folks. <laughs> I didn't plan that. Actually, it just happened. I almost swallowed a freaking bug. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> that's live, that's comedy right there, folks. But, uh, anyway, I'm just showing, kind of showing Mike around kind of where I kind of went, slow time down or slow time. Very nice around here. Very nice. Oh. Good morning. Morning. Yeah, there's people running. You know, we don't even know where they're running to or where they're running at. Or where are they going? Are they coming back? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's pretty much where I went. Up the stairs. All the way across. Well, not to the bridge, but just, you know, pretty much where everybody else is going. And then back. <laughs> and then we're we'll kind of getting close to Rose Garden too because that's right there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Just right there. Kind of amazing. Oh, we got another guy run. This guy's right here. Wow, that'd be kind of fun. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, I, I really never have you seen be that before. You gotta to do that, I guess. <laughs> Uh, yeah, some people thought I was going to be crazy when I said this documentary is going to be five hours long, but I said that's what I'm going for, that's what I'm trying to do, you know. You know this ain't just your regular vlog, you know, that you know that I would do in, in Greenbush over in the back of Mike's backyard or whatever. This is a bigger thing than that. Yeah, it is. Something that we were planning. Holy moly, is it an earthquake? <laughs> Seems like an earthquake, I don't know. Or a milkshake or something. Anyway, this is something bigger than anything else I've ever done because I've never put together something like this in my entire life, you know, let alone on YouTube, but I figure first it's the first time for everything, you know, as they always say. Yeah. People say that anyway. <laughs> I don't know who, but some people do. But yeah. So what we'll do is we'll go I guess we'll go up, okay. and then we'll go down. 
or maybe we'll go down, then we'll go up. What do you want to do? Oh, <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll just go up. Go up? Yeah. Now, uh, is this stairways, or is this like a, like a thing where you just like, uh, you know, step out here and you hope that oh, goes up? Oh, you mean like an escalator? Yeah. Or do we have to actually do the work and <laughs> walk, get our asses up here? <laughs> yeah. First thing with you Okay. <laughs> I was hoping that it would be the easy way like that elevator earlier, but, you know, I like to always the easy way out, but I guess I could lose a few pounds too, I suppose. <laughs> but, ah, very nice. I guess it's nicer as we get up here. But yes, folks, we are here in Portland, Oregon for a few hours anyway to kill some time. And then we'll be on the bus to Astoria, Oregon, where we're waiting. For, we've got a hotel hurry lined up. We'll be here for a week, or well, not a week, but a few days anyway. Wow. That was a workout. You know what that is, don't you? Is the, the railway thing? It's like a transit bus kind of thing. Uh, transit train kind of. Oh, wow. That they were talking about earlier. Okay. <sighs> yeah, transit train. Just takes you wherever you want to go. But yeah, I mean, holy moly. I must have just built this bridge here because I don't remember being here last oh. time I was here. We'll just go down. Yeah. But it's a beautiful city. Hey, UPS. Okay, Brown. What can Brown do for you? <laughs> you want know, people dressed up like they're, they look like a piece of turd? <laughs> now, I said I wasn't going to get too gross with this because, you know, I want people to, you know, there are certain people I want to, to, to see this and I don't want them to think I'm a freaking retard just because, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm film a documentary and have a big head out of my shoulders because I don't have that. You know, if I had a big head, I just if I had big ears too or something. <laughs> or big feet or something. Yeah. Big nose, well, I already got that too. But. Yeah, <laughs> so, you got anything to say to your parents at all? For You at least got to say thank you to them for, for letting you come with me anyway. You know? Yeah. You know, you were too bad your brother could come with. You know? Yeah, I wish he could. I'm sure, he would have loved this. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure he would have. Yeah, he definitely would have. Definitely would have had a good time there, Cody. Yes, I'm talking to you, Cody. <laughs> Not you, Mike. Cody. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Your twin brother. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so. Yeah, if you look over here, it's kind of like the back alleyway, kind of. I don't know if this is the same way that we came. I don't rem remember, but I think it kind of kind of was, though. I mean, on the train, that is. I didn't film it, but. Yeah. Well, anyway. Yeah, so this is what's going on right now, and uh, we're just going to keep this documentary going. Um, we're going to do a lot of things in Astoria, a lot of things that most people have never done before, plus there's a big surprise coming, too. You know, Mike knows what it is. He looks surprised, like he doesn't know, but I can't say anything right now because, you know, that would ruin the surprise. <laughs> but he knows, and I know, so we'll be right back. I pretty much beat that whole entire game. Yeah, you probably got an HD now, probably. You got the old new advance on your little on your iPod there. <laughs> anyway, well, we're here at the dock, and yes, this dock kind of moves. It does bit. move, you know. You know, you have to dance around or nothing to make it move. It does move. It moves by itself. Very nice around here, though. I mean, this is as close to like any water that we've ever been to in a long, long time. You know. train station, the Union Station is right over there somewhere. Wherever you can see the bridge anyway. Yeah, right Union Station over there. Yeah, I got I zoomed it over there. Pretty nice, I mean and this isn't even half of it. I mean this is just part of the city. I mean it still goes for miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and, and miles <laughs> I, I feel like doing the whole CM Punk thing, you know, I just, <laughs> which I'm sure it's been done here because they just had Ra over at, you know, 
at the Rose Guard right over here, this big dome here over here, which we might go take a look if, you know, if we can. Maybe they're open, maybe we might get a tour, maybe, because I know, remember the Ralph Ingalls Arena? Well, you never, yeah, you never mind. That was myself and Brian. They did uh, tours. So maybe we, maybe we could go across there and see if they could give us a tour. Yeah. Would that be kind of cool? That would be cool. So we'll see what we can do and we'll let you guys know. <laughs> well, that's interesting that you picked a sports arena to come. Well, we're, tour, we're huh? big WWE fans, and so we knew that Monday Night Raw was uh, uh, here a while back. Yes. So. <laughs> I, I worked that event. I remember okay. it well. Yeah. With the rock and everything. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, we didn't know how, you know, we didn't know what to really do, so we just kind of. Oh, yeah, it just worked out. I just got done with the tour. Oh, okay. So, you know, <laughs> I can take these, and I said, sure. Well, hopefully, we're not, you know, bothering, bothering you guys or anything. <laughs> Monty okay. Like sure. Okay. So this is the rose garden. Yep. Alrighty. Pretty nice and fancy. Oh, it almost yeah. reminds us of the Alaris Center at Grand Forks. Kind of similar uh -huh. in size. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep, I've never been there, but yeah. It's, yeah. it's kind of similar in size. Yeah, this is really fun. Yeah, come on into the bowl and I'll talk to you a little bit about okay. it. Okay. Show you some things. Exciting, huh, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, wow. All right. looks bigger in person. So, right now we're set up for hockey because we're okay. in the hockey playoffs. And sure, so we, right. had a, we had a big game last night. There were over 10,000 fans here last Jeez. night. So you can see we're all set up. We have another game here on Saturday night. I suppose it's televised and all that oh, too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because, because we're in the playoffs. So oh, sure, sure. So anyway, this is, our, this is our arena. What happens is this ice actually stays on the floor all the time unless we have an uh -huh. event like monster trucks where oh, it needs sure. to come out. Right. So what happens is we put a thing of insulation and then we can put the basketball floor directly on top of the ice. Okay. okay. So um, what happens is our basketball floor is 210 pieces. They each weigh 200 pounds. Jeez. And they're all numbering. It's like a big jigsaw puzzle. Uh -huh. So it's very common for us to have a hockey game one night and a basketball game the next. Sure. And so what happens is it takes about four hours for them to totally convert this from an ice hockey rink to a basketball course. Wow. Okay? So this is what we call um, our 100 level. The event level is the one that's down there where the ice is. And then all of these windows around, these are our suites. Okay. okay. We have 70 suites that are available here. They are all leased on a three to a seven year term by corporations, places. Um, the Trailblazers actually have two private seats, uh, suites, one on each okay. side of the event. And so anyway, this arena can be switched into um, concerts really easily. Yep. I was, on Tuesday night, I worked the Black Keys concert. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. were just here and there were like, I think there were about 10,000 people here for that too. So it's big. Where all of this area that's curtained up here, yeah. those are all seating too. Oh. So when we have the Blazer Games going, there's over 20,000 people that we can get in here for this event. That's crazy. Okay. So when we have concerts, um, the, the scoreboard actually lifts up. Yep. And we have all types of configurations. We can have center stage where they're right in the middle and we can utilize the whole thing depending on how big they are or north stage where the stage is down on that end of it and then there's only seating from here to here. Sure. Or we have a, what we call a, the cloud theater and we divide it in half lengthwise so it's more of a, um, a, a nicer setting for smaller okay. artists that just want one-on-one, -on -one, you know, and that seats about 5,000 people. Wow. Yeah, so we also have, this is actually nine stories high, um, public asset access only goes to eight. We have sky boxes up here, uh -huh. and then the next one is the catwalks, so that the, the engineers oh, sure. and guys yeah. up there to put in I sound suppose they got to like, update that. everything. Yeah. And they're always strapped in. You can see how high up that is. <laughs> and you see that box up there with the curtains on it? Uh -huh. That is Paul Allen's Okay. Uh, he must be a big player or something? Or? Paul Allen is the owner. Paul okay, Allen he's the owner. Art, okay. He knows more about basketball he's than I co do. He's <laughs> co founder of Microsoft, is Paul Allen. So oh, wow. Very he owns the Trailblazers. He okay. owns this arena. Okay. So when he comes, I, I, from my understanding, he's only actually used that three times. He would have his mother use it once in a while when okay. he was in town. But he, um, that's his apartment. 
about 1,800 square feet. There's also a helipad, so when he comes, they can just bring him directly in the helicopter. And oh. Then when he comes down, he has total, there's nobody on the elevator with him. It's total security. Yeah, so it takes about, when we have the Trailblazer game, which is are usually our biggest, you know, because yeah. it's a season. Sure. So we'll have, you know, uh, 20,000 people in here. How many games do we have a season? And it's our it's our biggest event. So but a lot of that, it takes about 2,000 of us to work sure. that event. Okay, there's food service people, there's security people, there are us that are called guest services. Sure, Because yeah. we're here to accompany people to their seats to make sure that everybody is behaving properly in a, in a mannerly fashion. That yeah. They aren't drunk. <laughs> yeah, know, so I suppose you get some oh, crazy yeah. fans, oh, sure, you know, sure. die hard, you yeah, know. Yeah, you do. So anyway, you know, but it just depends on what the event is and what's going on. Oh, okay. On. So this is our Rose Bowl, Rose Garden. Rose Garden. Rose Bowl. Rose yeah. Garden. <laughs> But the, uh, the NBA season was different this year, wasn't it? Yes, because they had a strike. Yeah, okay, how'd so that affect the arena over that here? That affected nationwide. That affected I suppose it affected you guys' jobs, I suppose, too, I suppose. 2,000 people to run a game. Uh -huh. That's how many games did we miss. That's, that yep. just trickles down into the economy. So, yeah, that was that, uh -huh. that affected you know, arenas around But did you, like, try to find other things to fill the, the void? Yes, or? Our, our people that do that were just really, really wonderful. There's, oh, there seems like there's always something going on here. There's yep. a lot of restaurants, so a lot oh, of a big uh, city. <laughs> corporations and stuff will, will rent the restaurants and have employee meetings or oh, you know, sure. employee things. So there's all different types of venues that they can do that with here, too. Wow. Yeah, so there's always something going on. It's quite they, quiet today because there's nothing going on yeah. tonight. You know, but any time that you're in this building, there are maintenance people and food people and stuff going on behind the scenes. So, what, you know what WWE is going to come back at all? You know, I heard <laughs> June, but I'm not positive. Okay. I'm not positive about that. That just kind of sticks in my mind. But I, you know. Because I know they had the two pay-per-views over here, Unforgiven yes. 04 and yeah. No Mercy 08. I suppose it was jam-packed yeah. over here, you, too, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, it was. Did they, let's see, when The Rock, the Rock was here last yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is like what February, because I know yeah. John Cena had to like he had to make a quick trip over here because uh, he was uh, supposed to call the Daytona 500 or whatnot, yeah. Yeah. and that uh, rained out, so he had to like hurry up and get a plane over here and everything. Oh yeah. Yeah, well, when that's going on, you can imagine the the. the and do they have their own crew the that takes care of their oh, work for you guys? Do. Or for instance, um, I worked the Coldplay concert yeah. not too long ago, and and I got here early for a specific job, and I was talking to one of the people. That on the roadie, okay. and I was watching them set it up because it's amazing. Yeah, the amount, the, the truckloads of the big arena or the big entrance and everything too. And he told me that there were 80 people on their payroll that travel with them to all of these events, yeah. and he says there's probably about 20 from here that work with them to get that set up because wow. the minute that they're done singing, those roadies hit the ground running and they start yeah. packing that stuff up. So when there's concerts going on here around the arena, there's just huge, massive truckloads just full. And I suppose it gets pretty loud in here when they oh, let go of the pyro and everything, oh, yeah. and oh, oh yeah. boy. Yeah. Yeah. But we also have this acoustic cloud up here. Oh, you yeah. These tiles. Uh -huh. okay. So during a sports event, the hard part of the tile is faced outward so that all okay. of the, the clapping and the applauding yeah. and the yelling and stuff reflects down into here okay. and stays loud, you know, because we love that loudness. And so when they have a concert, they flip those over and they have softer so that it okay. absorbs the sound and acoustically it's better for concerts, you know, so there's lots of variations that they can do for that. Have you ever had, like, any big celebrity guests over here, like, just in attendance at all? Uh, yeah, every once in a while. Um, every once in a while, yeah, and usually, you know, okay. they'll spot them and put them on the big screen. Oh, sure. Say, yeah, uh. It's nice to have some <laughs> here, yeah. Yeah, but Portland's a, a, a fun city. We're very yeah. ecologically minded, and, and uh, people like Portland. It's a very beautiful city. Uh. Did, have you had the opportunity to explore well, a little bit? I've been here before. I was here in 2004 uh, going to Astoria the same way I'm doing it now. It's just that I want to come back here just because uh, yeah, I, want, I want him to see what yeah. this is all about and everything. Yeah, and yeah I mean, it's, it's a nice little city. We yeah. People seem to like to run or walk oh, and get a lot of exercise. Oh, yeah. We have, we have tremendous bicycle lanes. We're probably more progressive <laughs> about that than most You have any house shows, like uh, like uh, home and garden shows at all? Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's all types of shows in here. There's also a lot of floating homes on our rivers. And our okay, rivers. yeah. I actually live in a floating home. So really? Living right on the water is pretty wow. fun. You must get, you have a pretty cool job just being a tour guide. What else yeah. do you do? Well, I actually, I'm on, I'm also an usher. So when okay. there's, when there's um, any events going on, you yeah. know, we don't always know what we get to do. Yeah. Um, 
But it's fun nevertheless. No, it is, because it's four or five hours max, and even if you're standing in a bar yeah. escorting people or in an elevator. Sure. You know, I mean, it's fun because you get to talk to people, and everybody's here to have fun. Yep. And, you know, occasionally you have problems, but not, but very rarely. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's a very fun thing to do. Come on, and I'll show you really yeah. quickly the uh, ecology <laughs> thing they have going on. Environmental yes, stuff for us. Yes. Okay. Because all of our stuff, you can see our, our receptacles here. Yep. It's very specific. Anything that is produced here in food wise is recyclable. It's oh, wow. Just, it's just how yeah, I suppose, it. yeah. You know, sometimes people will come in with plastic bags or something, and that's yep. where we have a landfill section. Sure. But our workers completely go through it. So, anyway, wow. this is just kind of, we just put this in, you know, talking about our green. Uh huh. This is really interesting. Garden does to keep us green. Oh. And bike parking spaces. 80% of our waste is, is diverted from local. Okay. Homes. 80%. That's huge. Wow. You can imagine 20,000 people in here on the trash that can yeah. create. Yeah. Now, does this help you guys save money too or save absolutely. costs? It, absolutely. It does on our costs, but also it's just kind of being environmentally aware sure. and careful of what we do. And we're one of the first arenas in the nation to go this route. Wow. And we had to jump really big hoops. We had to make sure that we did X amount of percentages of all of this, and we were just able to put this in because we met all of that criteria. Did you get it recognized at all for it? Yes, I'm sure we have, but I, I'm not positive about that. But okay. I'm sure that we have because we're one of the first, we're one of the pioneers sure. who have done this for a sport. Well, program. I figure like the president went out and said, hey. I'm very proud of this. I yeah. Think this is really important structure. Well, it's called, you know, they said that we are trailblazers, so trailblazers is kind of yeah. like, you know, a nature yeah. thing, more or less, yeah. you know, environment. Yeah. But, um, so they are totally renovating the trailblazer locker room, so I can't take you down there. Oh, that's fine. Got that under construction. We just want to see the arena. <laughs> okay. cool. Cool. That's pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. So do you have any questions? Do you have anything I can answer? Yeah, Mike, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Ask some questions if you have any. <laughs> Well, like, uh, like, uh, well, like the wrestling comes, like if Vince McMahon comes or whatever does he have his own little sweet box too oh, yeah. or something? Well, well, uh. they're, yeah, they're, they, they're downstairs. We have an area where we have dressing rooms. Okay, so those, sure. They're very secure. You know, we have security guards down there that mind that they're down on the event level. And I suppose they... He comes with all of his Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I suppose they allow certain people to go backstage if they have like a certain ticket or something. There or? has to be; they have to have prior arrangements. And okay. It has to be okay through that person. They make all of those arrangements. Sure. What we try to do is just honor that. We're, no, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> we're fine. Yeah, just do it. We just try to honor that. Uh, oh, yeah. And, and accommodate them as much as we can. Sure. Can't, you know, because lots of times. Uh, big stars will come and yeah. have specific things. Oh, yeah. They have specific foods, and we just have to make sure that sure. have those things. Make them all happy, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Yeah, so anyway, you got to Portland on a beautiful day. Don't yeah. You? Okay. It's like 48 degrees, but it's not so bad. It actually feels yeah. a little warmer than that, probably because of the uh, lake or something, river. So, I have no idea. You guys are going to Astoria tonight? Yep. yep. Okay, yep. driving? Nope, take a, we'll wait for a bus. Oh. We're, well, we, it's all through Amtrak, uh -huh. and we're like, uh, they have like a bus package with our ticket, so it's already included, so cool. all we got to do is wait till 6 o'clock, and, and since the time changed since we got here, yeah. see, we're used to Central Time. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, yeah, we end up spending probably more than 31 hours on the train. And <laughs> yeah, cool. So you have until 6 o'clock tonight. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything, like, well, fun to do here? Well, Does that well, we're maybe down to the waterfront. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if you need a cab, but the the MAX system is out here, and it is our Portland's transportation system. Okay. You know, and so I'm sure you could go down there and look. In fact, um, yeah, it's right out this door. Okay. The south entrance. So you go out here, yep. and the MAX system is right down here, and you can go down there and take a look at the schedules and see. But, you know, going down to the waterfront is yep. just kind of a fun thing. There's a really nice park down sure. there. If you have time to go to OMSI, which is a scientific thing, and it costs to get in there. But okay. You know, I mean, it's really, really a fun thing to see, oh. too. Does yeah. it normally cost for tours normally, um, or, for, or for here? Well, uh, for, 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 for what well, you do? We just do, we take contributions, and we donate it to a children's oh, hospital okay. locally here. But it's, it's, 
Right. Well, I was gonna say if you just did it free just for us, I mean, a little big thank you. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so you can go down there and check out their schedules, but there's a convention center and the water's right down here and the water okay. the park isn't too far. Might even be within walking distance. I'm not yeah. sure because I get turned around in here. Oh, yeah. You know, but, you know, and those are just fun things. You go to the downtown area. Sure. There's, there's just unique stores down there. And okay. Just, like, just always something to do, huh? <laughs> always something to do. What do you like to do when you uh, for uh, fun? Well, I, I love, it's on the weekends, I love going to the market. They have a farmer's market. Okay. You know, do they got a big movie Sunday. theater all around here? Um, I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is. In There's 3D? Somewhere, yeah. See the Avengers movie? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking at OMSI. At OMSI okay. Down there on that area, I think that they have a big, you know, sure. big thing down there, so you might check that wow. out. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I appreciate so, it. You know, thanks for, welcome. you know. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, there. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you. Enjoy your stay. Yeah, well, thank you very you much. You're very welcome. Thanks for coming. Yep. Time. So there you go, Mike. <laughs> We got to go inside the Rose Garden Arena. Yeah, we did. Yeah. So now the next time they have a WWE event, you can say, hey, I've been inside there before. Yeah. And I drank the Fizzard Man. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what was your name again? The Rose? Or... I forgot. I guess I'll have to look back in the footage. Yeah. But uh, there you go, guys. Oh, special. I told you this documentary was just going to be about us doing stuff, but we're going to show throw a bunch of surprises your way throughout this whole documentary so it's worth keeping up to date or keep up watching this because you never know what you might find you know this ain't just your ordinary movie you know? yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what it would be rated but uh, F-U-N fun, yeah. Yeah, fun. <laughs> anyway okay so we're going to try to find something else fun to do while we're waiting for the bus to come and if nothing else comes uh, well, the documentary continues, so we're on the road back to Astoria, Oregon. Mike and myself, yep. having a hell of a time here in Portland. Rock on. <laughs> and the sky, is that cloudy over there? Yeah, oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I was going to see what this is, but there's a bunch of left and stuff here. Okay. Well, we're still in Portland, you know. Yeah. We decided that we're just going to stay here and, <laughs> and never come back to our actual homes. <laughs> <laughs> Only we wish. So, we weren't scared of Mike's folks like this. No. <laughs> but hey, if they came to come get them, you know, it'd be a good vacation. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, look at how nice this is. Wow. This is something that Rose only needs, you know. And they can yeah, easily absolutely. build as they wanted to, right? In the, right in that nice, like right in town where they're nice, like right in Main Street or something, you know? Yeah, they should. Or at the big park or whatever they got. That is beautiful. So, Mike, do you know what this is? <laughs> it's a water pump. Yeah, water pump. Do you feel like you're in New York City? Yeah. Gonna make case for powder pump? <laughs> Look at all this. Hey, cool. Woofy. <laughs> oh, he's enjoying it. I dare you go run through there. <laughs> no. I'll give you $5. <laughs> I'll give you everything I have. <laughs> well, it's your turn running through that. I. No. <laughs> I, I would have, I'd have an accident <laughs> before <laughs> no. I went in there. <laughs> no. Oh, this is nice. I mean, we'll go with it. We can go close here. I think it like goes higher up as you get closer or something. Or... This is nice, though. <coughs> oh, look at that puppy. Oh, he's, oh, he's really enjoying it. Be like, hey puppy, come here, come here, I got a bone for you. <laughs> Give a dog a bone. Aww. He likes it. Well, this is pretty nice. I mean, this is that, what's called Waterfront Park, I believe. Yeah. That tour lady was talking about. But, uh, yeah, that's nice. Our dog's looking like he's having a good time. <laughs> he's doing it the way that somebody we know would, would uh, 
to release water. <laughs> yeah. But we won't say who. Yeah. Oh, the puppy. Oh. Oh, you guys drink the water. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's like a fire station over there. Yeah. The fire truck. Yeah, it's very nice over here. A nice day, the weather's gotten a little warmer anyway. Not too terribly bad, I don't think. It's not too windy out either. But, uh, yeah. Very nice, we're just taking a walk by a waterfront park and it's just, well, you can't really see the beauty right over here, but you know what we're talking about. You see it already. <laughs> Everybody else has seen it, so. Well, anyway, the next time that we see us on our camera, we'll be, uh, we're will be we going to be on the bus. So this is our last shot of Portland for right now until we come back on Sunday. So we'll be back on the bus okay. as we finally head to Astoria, Oregon, because I know that's what you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right.